this video i am going to share with you uh, syllabus of uh, second year entc of uh, sppu that is savitri bai phule university so um, from this um, video i am going to start a, a series a series or uh, or we can say uh, i am going to teach you the whole uh, digital circuit uh, syllabus of sppu unit wise and uh, then after uh, the we will uh, discuss uh, the insem uh, question important questions for the insem examination also uh, the important questions for the insem examination so i am going to teach you the whole syllabus of the digital circuit from unit number 1 to unit number 6 so stay tuned and talking about this video i am going to just share uh, in this video i am going to just share with you uh, the whole uh, syllabus of unit 6 for oh, unit 1 to unit 6 of the second year entc so let's see so here uh, i have already opened the syllabus s e n t c syllabus 2019 pattern for savitri bai phule pune university so let's see the syllabus uh, which is on page number 15 so you can see no sorry which is on the page number 12 so you can see here here you can see uh, here savitri bai phule university second year of electronics or entc engineering 2019 course and this is the subject digital circuit and 204182 is the code and you can see here teaching scheme that is 3 hours per week credit credits are 3 uh, examination scheme um, is like this like uh, in same theory There is a thirty marks and in same theory there is a seventy marks. So for in same examination there there will be a uh, two units, uh, unit number two and uh, one and two. And for in same there will be unit number three, four, five, six. So for in same examination there uh, there will be a only a two units. So you can see here. Uh, so for uh, uh, here are the some course objectives. so to make student understand that means the fundamental principles are two valued logic and various devices used to implement logic operations on variable so course objective means what st student should understand uh, after completing the syllabus so that is the course objective then here course outcomes and uh, uh, there are six units so here they have mentioned the uh, six course outcomes co1 co2 up to co6 so now we'll move towards the course content or syllabus so now you can see the syllabus uh, for the unit number 1 the unit is unit name is digital logic families so in this you can see uh, they have mentioned the 5 hours for completing this unit so we will uh, we will learn or i'm going to teach you uh, the classification characteristics of digital logic families so uh it's all about digital logic families like speed power dissipation figure of merit fan in fan out current voltage noise these are some you know characteristics of the digital logic families then we will see the uh, various digital families like ttl logic cmos logic you know and uh, then in that active pull of wired open collector output unconnected input stri strict logic cmos logic in that cmos inverter nand nor gates unconnected inputs wire so these whole this is the syllabus or content of the unit number 1 okay then unit number 2 is all about combinational logic design so uh, you are you are going to learn what is the combinational circuits okay what is the combinational logic what is the standard representation for logic functions then and very more uh, very much important is kmap because it is very much important for the digital electronics or digital circuit you should know the kmap then uh, sop pos form the minimization min terms max terms then don't care conditions and everything and then again here you can see design examples also there that is arithmetic circuit bcd to seven segment decoder then code converters code converters means like binary to bcd bcd to gray converter like this so in then very much important topic is introduction to coin mcluskey method so one question is definitely there in the exam 
on this method and uh, again you can see reduced prime implicans table so this is uh, basically the syllabus of the unit number 2 so for your in same examination uh, there will be two units that is unit number 2 unit number 1 and unit number 2 sorry so uh, i am going to um, uh, take care that i will complete this unit number 1 and unit of unit number 2 before your in same examination so that so that you can uh, study and i will also provide the uh, you know handwritten notes for this okay so now move towards the unit number three so you can see unit number three is all about the combinational circuits combinational circuits means adders subtractors then digital comparators parity generators mux then demux decoders okay so this is basically the syllabus of the unit number three uh, now Unit number four, move towards unit number four. There is a sequential logic design. So, uh, in unit number two and three, we will uh, uh, we have seen that means there is a, all about the combinational uh, logic design and combinational circuits. Then unit number four is all about the sequential logic design. It is very important and. Uh, uh, this is uh, somewhat not difficult, but you have to. Um, uh, you have to take a force to learn this unit and this is also very important because um, in your final year there is a, a subject uh, there will be a sub subject that is the VLSI design and um, in that subject you should know what is the flip-flops what is the you know uh, counter ship resistors sequence generators so in sequential logic design you you, you are going to learn the what is memory cell you know what is flip flops all types of flip flops like jk sr you know d flip flop what is t flip flop what is preset and clear terminals of the flip flops then what is uh, the properties like hold and setup time and meta stability meta stability is very very much important topic uh, then excitation table for flip flop and the uh, flip flop uh, typical data sheet specification of flip flop applications of flip flop and then the resistors and resistors we are going to learn the shift resistors um, in shift register after after learning shift register register counter ring counter ripple counter modern counter so there there will be a definitely question on the design a modern counter or up and down counter and and there are several practicals also in your syllabus uh, depend uh, on the uh, counters you know counter register and flip flops also then the the some definitions are very uh, important like what is the clock skew clock jitter what is the lockout condition effect on synchronous designs and the most important that is the sequence generators so this unit is basically a very important unit and you have to have study for this unit okay then unit number five you can see here unit number five is all about state machines so these state machines also very important uh, you, you know so in this you know, state machines you are going to learn what is exactly the state machines um, what is the uh, basic steps to design okay that means what is state diagram state table state reduction state assignment and the milli and muri machines representations these both are the two types of state machines in that we ha you have to learn what is milli and muri machines so uh, there will be a uh, there will be a definitely a question uh, about the milli and muri machine always then there is a, a how to implement that then finite state machine implementation then sequence generator so there will be a one question again in the in exam every year on the sequence detector then introduction to algorithm state machines construction of asm chart realization for the sequential circuits so this is all about the unit number five okay this is also very important and you can uh, get uh, marks on this unit okay uh, if you study uh, then unit number six it is a programmable logic device so it is all about you know uh, memory like programmable uh, me not memory but it's programmable logic devices all about the uh, you know detail architecture study of the prom pal pla architectures then fpga uh, then the cpld 
then semiconductor memories like memory organization operation expanding memory size classification and characteristics of memories ram rom eprom a square prom and vram sram dram designing combination of circuits using pld so this is also a very important unit um, because uh, in the last year you have a subject qlsi design so there also you required the fpgsc pld it's very important uh, you know architectures and uh, uh you know uh, it's a programmable logic device in that uh, name also you can understood it is a programmable okay so uh, this is all, all about the uh, syllabus of the digital circuit uh unit number 1 to unit number 6 and uh, if you study the subject is not that much hard you can get maximum marks and uh, uh i will teach you from unit number 1 to 6 and i will provide notes also and we will see some important questions when your in some exam uh is there so uh, stay tuned to the uh this uh, youtube channel and if you have any queries regarding the uh, or the syllabus uh, of digital circuit or any query about the you know concept so you can ask freely in the comment section and i will definitely uh, give you the you know answer and uh, till then uh, you can um, subscribe to my channel and uh, yeah thank you